Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Oshina. I am so excited to do this video. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up part two to a video that I filmed called Reading Christian Booktubers Favorite Books. And I have three new booktubers that I'm going to be reading their favorite books and seeing if I also like these books. So I will share with you the booktubers and the books. I will link the booktubers down below. So go check them out if these books look like something you like, you might like the rest of their recommendations. And these are all Christian booktubers. They are my friends and I just, I think this is really fun. So I will say that two of the books in this video I don't own. It's starting to get harder because I don't have a huge TBR anyways that I own. So yeah, and then I want these all to be Christian books. So first up is Katie from Paperbacks and Ponytails. And she and I have fairly similar tastes. She also loves romance. She reads a wide variety of genres within romance. Um, she'll read all the way from middle grade to contemporary, historical, um, adult, young adult, fantasy, I think. She reads a lot of stuff. This book is called J Dangerous Beauty by Melissa Coslin. And this is a book that I saw Katie kind of hyping when it first came out. I think it came out last September. So it's a fairly new release and I've been wanting to read it for ever since it came out and my library does have it. So it is currently in transit. So I am very excited to get it. It is going to be a physical copy. And this is like romantic suspense, it looks like. So once again, I'll like read a little bit of the back to you guys so that you can have an idea of what the book is about. This sounds fairly intense, okay? So this follows Liliana. She is stuck in human trafficking in Mexico. She is like rescued by a dude. But listen to this. She can't stay safely over the border in America unless the man who aided in her rescue is serious about his unconventional proposal to marry her. Marriage of convenience. Did not know that this was this. Okay, and then the dude's name is Merrick. He was just stopping at a service station for a, bo a bottle of water, and then he intervened and rescued Liliana. This sounds intense, okay? I have hope for this. I, yeah. I'm excited. So yeah, that's the first book and the first booktuber. So. Okay, next I'll show you the book that I do own. I do have one book. Um, so the next booktuber is Stacy from Wandering with Stacy, And I just love her. She feels like, I hope this isn't offensive to you, Stacy, but you feel like a second mom to me. I love you. Okay. And I really like Stacy's channel. She reads Again, a wide variety. I really enjoy her videos and I enjoy her book reviews. She's just, her opinions fascinate me and yes. Okay, so she likes biblical fiction. She likes, I don't know if she likes historical actually now that I think of it. Do you like historical? I, I don't know. Um, she likes Christian fiction and I don't see a ton of romance on her channel, but on her Goodreads, she did rate this book five stars. And I, I own this book. And actually, if you guys remember, this is actually not my book. This is my friend's book. She loaned it to me back in, what, September, October, November? Uh, September. I don't know. Um, when I was up north for work, I stopped in and visited my friend. And she was showing me her books. And she was like, oh, this book is really good. You should read it. So she gave it to me. And here it is. So it's called The Tomb by Stephanie Lansom. And I do know that technically, I think this is book three in a companion trilogy that this author wrote. The first book is called The Well, and then the second one is The, the Thief. But I think they follow different biblical characters, so it should be fine. And I am very much interested in this book. And honestly, I'm really interested in the other two because this just sounds really good. I hope I like her writing, but Stephanie Lansom, I feel like she is like a hidden gem. I just have good feelings about her books, even though I've never read them. So yeah, by the way, all of these books, okay, except for one. So Melissa Coslin, never read a book by her. Stephanie Lansom, never read a book. So this is like really nice. It's exposing me to new authors that I've never tried before. So this book follows Mary and Martha and Jesus and Lazarus and that whole story in the Bible. So the tomb is like Lazarus's tomb, I'm pretty sure. I just can't wait to see what this author does. I don't have an issue reading fictional tales. <laughs> what? Fictional books, fictional stories to do with biblical characters. It doesn't bother me. I, I just, I actually find it really fun. So anyway, yeah. I do like biblical fiction, so I don't think like this genre isn't out of my comfort zone, but I don't read it very often. So it's been a while. It'll be a nice change. Okay. The last booktuber and last book is Lou 
from, what's your channel? Christian Faith and Fiction. That is Lou's channel. And she makes a ton of videos about Christian fiction. So if you want to hear, I don't know if I've ever seen her read something not Christian fiction, but I don't actually know because is this book Christian fiction? I don't know. But I found it on her Goodreads and I'm interested in it because it was kind of the only one on her list that I was interested in. So it won by default, but um, it's called Dear Mr. Knightley by Catherine Rie. Now, I tried reading The Printed Letter Bookshop by this author and I found it extremely boring and I DNF'd it. And that is the only book that I have tried by this author. So a little worried, but also I'm willing to give this a try. This one I have on audiobook. So I hope that it's a good audiobook. Um, my library doesn't have it physically. It only has it as an ebook and an audiobook. So I have to either listen to it and I I do not think that I'll put the effort into reading it as an ebook. So audiobook it is, and I hope that I like it. This one I'm the most skeptical about, but I respect Lou's five star and I'm willing to give it a chance. So there you go. Those are the three books. I don't know which one I want to start first. I'm going to wait, I think, for Dangerous Beauty to come in because honestly, I think that's the one I want to read first. So yeah, can't wait to see how this goes. Last video, I'll link it down below. Last video was so successful. I read two amazing five-star books in that video and I am like so happy about it. So I hope that at least one of these is a five-star read. We don't know, but we shall see. Hi, you guys. I am here to give an update because there are things to update. So I started Dear Mr. Knightley by Catherine Rie for Lou's pick, I guess. And I really didn't like it. So I was like listening to the audiobook and it I just I I just didn't like it. I I yeah. I have learned that I am not an epistolary novel person. This book is written mainly epistolary, meaning in letters, and I just don't connect to a storyline when it's mostly letters. So that's what this book was. Um, and then I guess with the audiobook, it was just confusing for it to be in letters, but for me to be listening to it. Yeah. So I took it off my Goodreads. I'm not even gonna mark it as DNF because it's just not for me and I don't wanna like give it a low rating just because of that. So I took it off and I went back to lose Goodreads because I'm like, Oh no, like what do I do for Lou now? Um, but I did find She Gave One Little Lie by Colleen Coble five stars. And I also have this as an audiobook. So I'm going to give it a go. I technically have started it. But the thing is, this book follows like a cult. And I don't know if I'm into that either, to be honest. So yeah, like I've listened to the prologue and a bit of chapter one and I was like, this is disturbing. Okay, so I'm going to keep trying here, but I may just have to say that like Lou and I definitely have crossover, but I've already read quite a few books that she gave five stars. And so the rest of her five stars, I haven't read them for a reason, you know. So anyways, but I am trying this book because I really liked Edge of Dusk by Colleen Coble. I don't know. And I think this is her second most recent trilogy. But I did start The Tomb and I already really like it. So I'm excited. But look, once again, seven years later, seven years. I could not believe this. Authors are getting me with this. Okay, this little bit. I'm like, oh, snap, what is going to happen? And then all of a sudden, seven years later. What am I supposed to do? So yeah, definitely into it. Um, and Dangerous Beauty has not come in yet. It is still in transit. So I was actually kind of waiting for it to come in so that I could read that first, but it's taken like way too long. So um, I started One Little Lie and The Tomb and I am feeling really good about this book. One Little Lie, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through it. I might DNF it and we might just say that like, I'm sorry, Lou. I, I love you, but um, we don't have enough crossover for me to read more of your books. Hello. You can probably hear my pasta cooking. So, I got sick again. 
but with something totally different. So I got sick last month in March. Um, I found out what it was that I got. It was like an actual thing. It wasn't just whatever. Um, I'll put a screenshot of what I had last month. So that just affects your voice and your throat. <laughs> this time I got some kind of stomach bug and you know what that means. I'm not gonna explain it, but I could not eat very much. So that was terrible. Um, oh, I see the light. And I still don't feel 100%, sadly. Okay, I'm gonna move us. Hello. Seriously, the nausea was uncontrollable. I could not handle it. Anyways, I am still reading. I actually read some ebooks because I've just been laying in bed with my phone. So another thing, my new phone, this is my new phone, I kind of gifted myself. I've been really working on saving, saving <laughs> pretty much. My old phone was an iPhone 8 and so it is very outdated and the battery wasn't great on it and the quality of the camera was really bad so I film with my work phone actually I my work phone is an XR yeah so then I got myself this is an iPhone 13 the quality is spectacular but because of that it is difficult to do anything with the footage because it's such a big file so I need to figure out how to work with it so that I can still edit videos and import them to my computer and upload them. My last video was my books on my TBR and I had to upload the video to Google Drive, like from my phone and then download it from my computer and then upload it again to, to YouTube. It was, it's a mess. So reading update, I did DNF One Little Lie. I wasn't connecting with the story. I didn't really like it. So, that's too bad, but um, I'm gonna go pick up Dangerous Beauty today at the library. Really excited to start that. And then I actually haven't read any more of the tomb since I last updated and it's been over a week since I started it, but I just haven't been holding physical books since I've been sick. I've just been reading on my phone. So I did read um, some eBooks and that was nice, but I am trying to get back to, like the really the only thing that can take me out is me getting sick. Otherwise, I always make it work. Like, I find a way to get videos out, but I can't if I can't get on camera. So that is why I have not uploaded. And even still, like, I can't finish this video until I read the books and there's still two books to go. So I don't know when you're gonna see this, but it's gonna give me some time to recover even more as well. Cause even now I'm not feeling so great. <laughs> so I need to really take it easy. But yeah, my body has forced me to take breaks from YouTube, which I didn't actually ask for, but that's okay. I'll make it work. I really, really want to start Dangerous Beauty, and I do really like the tomb, but I'm more looking for a contemporary story, I think, rather than a historical, so I want to read Dangerous Beauty. So I need to go pick it up, but I'm going to eat my stuff first. I'm making some pasta. I will check in when I've read some more. Um, I'm at work and once again, I want to do this here. I happen to be alone in this room right now, but that may change. So, but I wanted to update. I started this book and I already feel like it's going to be five stars. This is amazing. I love the writing. I love the storytelling and like the characters and the plot. Like I literally love everything. It's a really, I love, like, it's very fast paced, but it's like an isolated setting, which I really like. At first I was confused because I thought she was 
American, I guess, but actually she's Mexican in America because she was like trafficked into America. She escapes somehow. You're following her at the very beginning. This starts really similar to If I Run, the same kind of pace um, of If I Run, very similar and love it. But yeah, this girl, she gets to this like gas station, locks herself in the bathroom and like people notice. And then there's this guy in the gas station who like wants to help her um, because there's two guys chasing her and to help her because she is like an illegal immigrant basically or whatever they call them. So to make her allowed to stay in America, he has to marry her. And so he literally marries her that day and takes her home and it's kind of, That was close, okay? We survived. Um, <laughs> I think I was done talking anyway, so, but I love this. I, I could like read this all right now. I still feel pretty terrible, so that's too bad, but I'm reading this. And I'm excited because I followed the author, Melissa Coslin on Instagram and she followed me back. So we're friends now. And yeah, she has another book coming out in May that I may try to read as well. We'll see. The, when I read the description of that one, it didn't seem as interesting as this one, but um, there's a little sample of it at the back of this book. So I'll read that and see if I do want to read the full thing. But I'm loving this, highly recommend. And it is Christian kind of, cause this girl is kind of Christian. I mean, she, I guess you could say she believes in God. The guy, I have no idea. He's so mysterious and I really like him and I want to know more, more about him. Hello everyone, I finished Dangerous Beauty and I'm giving it five stars. I absolutely love this book. It was such a quick read. There were really no slow parts because like you're constantly trying to figure out, first of all, like what's going on? Who is Merrick? Why is he who he is? And then just the way that Liliana as a main character thought through things and her, her choices, like just everything was so interesting. Um, and I loved reading about it. So yeah, this book took a pretty intense direction, even though like, I mean, you know what it's about. It's about human trafficking. So it is very intense. And there's some things that are described, um, not in any kind of detail, but just like they, they talk fairly openly about it. Like they say words like abuse and rape and, you know, words that are like sad to hear, but they like describe it the best. I think it was so well done. Like the storytelling was so good. Like the kind of like climax at the end and like the whole ending and everything was so good. And I love this book now. So yeah, um, Katie, I totally see why you gave this five stars. And I think it was in your top books of the year as well last year. So yeah, it's going to be in my top book of the year for this year because I'm just so impressed. So I definitely want to read the other book by Melissa Coslin. I think I just like need to give all of her books a chance and hopefully they're all just as good. Um, but there was just something about the writing with this one. It was really, really good. So there's that. Highly recommend. Um, so I have made progress in the tomb. I, I like it and yet I don't just because this author's taken a lot of liberties and I didn't necessarily agree with everything. So that's one. I don't know how like Martha would feel about being portrayed this way. <laughs> um, like I think the writing is good, but I just think the choices, I'm just like, uh, like because it's like so directly about a f an actual story in the Bible, I just feel like these characters are really special and they need to be taken care of. And I just wouldn't say that, like, especially with Martha, I just like don't love it. That's all I'm going to say. The little bits that Jesus is in this book um, is cool. Like, he doesn't say anything that I feel like is like, Jesus wouldn't say that. Um, hello, everyone. I finished this book. Yay. Um, I, yeah, I'm giving it four stars. Yeah, four stars. I liked the writing and I mean, of course, I liked the characters, but I just felt like some of the things that happened with Martha, just because the, none of it is in the Bible, it just felt a little bit hard to like enjoy because 
I wasn't picturing like just some random characters, I was picturing the Bible characters. And normally that isn't a problem, like normally I, I go along with whatever their, the author decides to make these characters do that we didn't see them do in the Bible. But for this one, it just, it was just too much I think, it went too far. Martha, Mary and Lazarus like had full families, they had full lives, like and all, maybe they did in the Bible, but none of that is shown and I kind of wish that we were seeing them more as a trio because even in this book, they were, I mean, Martha and Lazarus was, were together, but Mary got married at the very beginning and Mary was barely in it. And I like wish that all three of them were like together more to see their sibling dynamics. Cause they were supposed to be like really close and like whatever. And then they were also supposed to be really close with Jesus. And I didn't really see that even with Martha, like it just didn't, I don't know. So, Bit of a letdown, not gonna lie, but that's okay. But I don't know if I'd recommend it, to be honest. Yeah. Oh well, okay, I'm wrapping up this video. Yay, it's done. Um, so, I DNF'd Lou's book. This one was not as successful. I can't say that word. This video was not as successful in terms of like the people that I picked to read like. So for Lou, I first tried Dear Mr. Knightley and I DNF'd it right away. It was epistolary and I just couldn't get into it um, like that. So DNF'd it and then I started One Little Lie by Colleen Coble and I DNF'd that as well because it was following a cult and just some of the things that were happening, I was like, oh, I do not want to read about this. So I DNF'd that book as well. Then I read, oh, Daniel's calling me right back. Okay, brother had to say hello. Um, what was I saying? This book, I read this um, out of Katie's five stars, and I also gave it five stars, absolutely loved it. New all-time favorite book, for sure. And then The Tomb I read for Stacy's five star, and I'm gonna give it four stars. I kind of think maybe I should give it three, actually. I think I should give it three. I didn't, I just, yeah, I didn't really like how the characters were portrayed, but I do think the writing was good. And like, there were some um, perspective changes a little bit, like you got to see little snippets of other people's perspectives and I liked that. But yeah, I think just because of who these characters, what this story was about from these characters from the Bible, it was like, uh, yeah. I just, I would have wanted to see more family dynamics and like relationship with Jesus because it was mostly about like Martha's tough life and trying to hide her secret and figuring out how to be married and yeah so anyway um finished the video yay um i am feeling better but yesterday i still had a little little incident so today i haven't had any nausea so that's good um but i definitely feel just kind of lethargic and not great still so that's too bad but I am back. I will be making as many videos as I can. But yeah, as long as I don't get sick again, I will be here to make videos. And that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So the first book to... No. I can't get it together. She... <laughs> Call... <sighs> Called A? What? Okay.